Hey everyone, we've got a message form here. You know the one in Elementor contact forms. They are super, super simple and easy to use. But what if you want to put the messages box to the right of the name and the email and the send? You're very limited as what you can do with styling inside the Elementor contact form, but with a little bit of code, no extra plugin, just a little bit of CSS code, you can do that right now. Let me just show you how to do that. We have a form with name, email, and message. I am now, well, I've also hidden away the label, by the way, that you can see there, right? We're, we're hiding away the label. But I want to use the message, not use, move the message to be to the right of the name and the email. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab and I'm going to give this a class name and I'm going to call it Form X. Why do we do a class name? If we enter in some CSS code and you haven't applied an identifier, this code will apply to every other form in your website which you might want or not. So an identifier is a good thing. Now we're going to add in our custom CSS and I'm going to drop that in there. Now instantly, you've probably noticed the message box has moved. Look, let me do that again. Right, there's the message box. When I add in the code, it's moved right to the right of the name and the email. However, we do have a bit of a problem here in that the name and email is now overlapping. So we're going to have to do a little bit more work on this. I'm just going to show you the code though, just so you kind of understand it. Here's the CSS code and here we have the bit that's applying to the name, to the email, to the message form. And you can see here it says margin left 320, which means it moves it over by 320 pixels from the left margin. And we also have one for the button as well. Now we are going to modify this a bit more. Let's just go over to content. Let's go to name and we're going to make the width of this be 40%. And I'm also going to do the same for the email as well and make that 40%. Now, normally, this is what you get, right? When you do 40 and 40, because it's under 100%, they kind of um, sit side by side. But what the code will do, I'm just going to hit update for a moment and just refresh the page as well. The code will now make the, name, the email sit below the name, even though it is um, uh, 40%. Now we do have a problem. Can you see the send box is still kind of like overlapping with the name? What we need to do is just go to preview changes and we are going to inspect the send button because the send button here, can you see it? It is elemental column 100. You see that there, elemental column 100. If I go back over to my code here, let me just shrink this down and go to the advanced and go to custom CSS. In my code, I have called it uh, column 40. I find that the submit button is either column 40 or column 100. So if the code I've pasted here does not work, just make sure you change it to be 100. So I'm going to change this to be 100. Can you now see the send is below the name and the email? But the message box is too short. That is dead simple to sort out as well. Let's go to the comment. Let's go to message and let's increase that to be seven. Now, whenever you make changes like this, the form goes a bit funny. Don't worry about that. Refresh your page because the CSS code just needs to kind of re-trigger itself. And there we go. We now, with a simple bit of code, have the name and the email. We have the send button there as well. And we have the message. We have a completely different style applied now for our elemental contact form. The CSS code is in the description. Go away and play with it. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, dish hand me the bag.